Here's how to make a 3D scanning from start to finish with Sol Pro 3D Scanner. The object I'll be scanning is an ear impression made of a soft silicone based material. The size of it fits with my Sol Pro scanner set in near position. The Sol Pro Creator software lets you choose your settings here, shows the status here, and gives you instructions on what to do next right here. In the middle, the camera shows the content on the turntable before and during scanning. I want to scan this object in normal scanning mode, and I don't need to check the options for dark surface or unsteady object. Sol Pro begins the scanning process with an automatic calibration with the turntable empty. The calibration ensures alignment between the scanner head and the turntable. When the calibration is complete, you place your object in a stable position and click Continue Scanning to start your first scanning pass. For a scanning to result in a full 360 degrees 3D model, you need to add additional scanning passes until the entire object's surface has been fully exposed to the camera and laser. Sol Pro Creator can automatically align up to five scanning passes. However, this object seems to need just three scanning passes for a sufficient exposure. So I can now start the automatic meshing process. After meshing, you can inspect your 3D model and decide if you need to add more scanning passes. I can see that three scanning passes got it all covered, so I click Save. The 3D model now automatically opens in Sol Pro Viewer, and here you can inspect it in different renderings, such as shaded or faceted texture, X-ray, and wireframe. You can also upload it for sharing, or export your model in various file formats for further editing in third-party software or for 3D printing. And that's how you scan with Sol Pro. If you have any questions about 3D scanning with Sol Pro, please let us know. Happy scanning!